Hi everyone, it is Tuesday and it's time for class. Who do we have on today? Let's see who we have in the waiting room here. Hi, how are you today? You good? You're on, you're on, you're on mute. <laughs> I can't hear you, you're on mute, Oshin. See, you can press the little um, microphone and I can hear you talking then if you want to chat. All right. Hello. How are you? Have you had a good week? Yes. Good. That's great. We're just waiting on the girls. I'm not sure um, if they're coming today or if they're going to come Thursday instead, but I'll, I'll see. We'll give them a couple of seconds, will we? Brilliant. Brilliant. Did you do anything cool over the weekend? Yes, we went to our other house. Oh, cool. Is that the one by the beach? Yeah. Oh, nice. And was the weather it's okay? In and was the weather okay? Yeah. Oh. Well, it was quite windy yesterday. Oh, okay. But are you, if you had a kite, it would have been brilliant yesterday, wouldn't it? With all the wind. Very rainy here in Cork. Super rainy. All day yesterday. but And all night last night. It was really, really mad and wild. The weather was crazy. But sure, look. It'll be summer soon and we'll all be off and we can go and do cool things in our summer houses and things, can't we? Yeah. Brilliant. All right, look, um, we'll get started and the girls can join in when they get here, all right? So we're going to need a few things. We're going to need your glue and your scissors like we do every week. So they're the first two things we're going to need. All right. And do we need our sponges? No, not today. Not today. Um, we're also going to need this shape that's in your pack today. This is called a template and we use these to draw around and make shapes on other items. So um, we're going to need this. It kind of looks like a rainbow a bit, I guess, like that. So we're going to need this today as well. All right. So we need your glue. We need your scissors. We need this lovely template, your rainbow kind of template. Is this, is this in the zippy? Yeah, it would be in the, zip, in the... In the zippy part. Yeah, it would be in the zippy part. Perfect. And we are going to need your markers. All right. And we're going to need some paper and um, a card from your from your pack. OK, so what I'm using is my leftover paper that I had from my parrots the other the last day. So from two weeks ago. So I have leftover kind of rectangles of paper that I'm going to use. Hi, girls. How are you? Welcome to class. Hi. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Hello, African Devisa. Hi, Hi. How are you? Your camera's <laughs> off, I think, girls, but we can hear you. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so I've just started um telling Oshin what he needs. Okay, so you're gonna need your glue and your scissors and your markers. They're the first three things we're gonna need. Okay. Um, then we're going to need your really cool kind of rainbow shaped template. You're going to need this. Hi girls, how are you? So you're going to need one of these today. So it's a rainbow shape or um, a dome shaped template. So we're going to need that today. And we're going to need one piece of card, which is in your zippy folder. And three sheets of your leftover paper from when we did our... Uh, parrots a few weeks ago okay so you have Angela. smaller sheets of paper yes Oshin did you ever do any pirate hats did I ever do pirate hats in class no but I have made lots of pirate classes pirate things over the years but not in class yes no have you made a pirate hat made? did you make one with newspaper no what have you made oh what um I've made? made I've made maps I've made eye patches, I've made hats, but not in class. I've made um, telescopes. Um, what else have I made? Um, I've made pirate pants by cutting my pants up and down like this and track pants. I made costumes yeah. over the years. But I am actually, it's funny that you should mention pirates because this month on, we have um, extra little videos that we put up on Facebook. And they're called five minute or 10 minute makes. And we're making pirate maps, treasure maps this month. Oh. So that's a free little video. So when that goes up, I'll tell you about it. All right. 
and okay. it's how to make it look really old and and uh, really old worldy. It's very cool. Do you dab it with a tea bag? You do. Yeah, that's part of it. You do dab it with a tea bag. Yep, absolutely. So it's kind of cool. You make it look really old, and that's part of it. Yeah, I may have to make maps recently for the kids show that I was doing for TV. So I'm going to teach you how to make it. All right. Okay. Are we all ready to go? Do we have our pieces of paper? Do yes. we have our card? Yes. Do we have our template? Yeah. Our markers, our scissors and our glue. So we're all ready to go. Okay. I'm going to show you what we're making today. And it's really cool. Um, this week is the festival, the pagan festival of Bealtaine. Okay. So Bealtaine is the Irish word for May, the month of May. But it comes from a festival that we used to celebrate thousands of years ago in Ireland. And it was the beginning of summer. So the beginning of everything growing and, uh, and becoming nice and sunny. And it was a really big festival. So they used to celebrate with flowers and animals and lots of really cool art and dancing. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a Celtic knot. So a lovely shape that they used to draw in things like the Book of Kells. Um, and then we're going to do, do some Celtic animals or you can do flowers as well on it. So I'm going to teach you how to make these, this really cool infinity knot. And yeah, you can I, see. I heard of it. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? So yeah. I've done, I've done my Celtic, my Book of Kells. I've done my um, dragon and my Book of Kells as well with my Celtic knot. So I'm going to teach you how to do that today. And um, just to celebrate Beltana. All right. So what we're going to do first is you're going to take um, just one of your coloured sheets of paper first, okay? Just one of them. All right. And we're going to take our marker and our template, all right? And what we're going to do is we are literally just going to place it at the edge of the paper and we're going to draw around it, okay? So we're going to draw the small arch in the middle and the big arch behind it, okay? So we're going to be as neat as we can with this because the neater we are with this, um, the better it turns out in the end. OK, so I'm going to try and go as close as I can to the edge. So I, I save some paper for for later. So I'm just going to hold on to the template as I'm drawing around it. And try not to move it like it's I just did there. Um, it's the coloured paper that um, we have left over from our parents. So those little pieces of paper that we had left over, that's what we're going to use for the for this bit, okay? So you can see I've used my marker and I've just drawn around my template like that. And when I've that done, I'm going to cut it out as neat as I can, okay? So the card is the bit we're going to use at the back, for the back of our picture, our Celtic knot, okay? And it's called an infinity knot because it goes on forever and ever. Look, see? Like that. So there's never ending. All right, so it's kind of cool. Um, and if you have ever seen the Book of Kells, it's so cool, guys. They used to take them a whole year to do one page because they had to make all of the ink themselves. And geez, anybody know how they made the ink? Some of the ink. Oh, uh, the, 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 there's kind of things that come off oak trees, like oak apples, and they mix it with some... With, with a few things and then it turns into black ink. Yeah, that's really cool. And they also used uh, bugs. They crushed bugs up and used bug bits. Gross. Um, but they have lovely colours and they've lasted thousands of years, hundreds of years. So, um, you know, it can be bad. Um, so they've, it's really, really pretty. Um, but it used to take them so long because they had to make the ink and they were working in tiny, in really, really dark places with feathers and it took forever and ever but we still have them and it's really really cool and it's in Dublin in Trinity College and they turn one page every single day for the people to come in and just have a look at one page but you can check things out now on the internet and have a look at different animals and all the animals that were in the book are um, creatures that are mentioned in the Bible and creatures that we would have had in Ireland at the time. So there's lots and lots of different birds. There's even snakes and there's dragons, things that are mentioned um, in the scriptures, but it's, they're, they're really, really beautiful and really pretty. So I'm gonna teach you how to make those dragons today and then you can do your own uh, ones as well. All right, so how are we getting on with our first one? Do we have it done? Brilliant. Neil. Brilliant, okay. So Neil, you're almost there though, are you? You're cutting it out, brilliant. Okay, now, as well as that, look, when we cut them out, we end up with these cool shapes. 
And these are ones I ended up with earlier. I was thinking you could actually make a rainbow later on with these bits, can't you? Because they're kind of rainbow shaped. Or you could do something really cool with these shapes. I don't know what, but maybe you guys could come up with something. They kind of look like petals a little bit. They look quite like the, the hill that, that Jesus uh, his cross was on. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah. They do look like hills, don't they? I suppose you yeah. could stick them onto pieces of card and they could be hills like that, couldn't they? That's a good one. Or you could stick two pieces together and make a circle. Yeah. It could be Pac-Man from the computer game. Your mom and dad would know who that is. Brilliant. Okay, so we have our first one done. And basically what we're going to do is exactly the same thing again with our second colour, okay? So I'm going to use a nice dark yellow colour. And I'm going to just put my template down again at the edge or as close to the edge as I can and use my marker to draw around it a second time okay so I have my lovely green one cut out and I'm going to cut out this dark yellow one as well that I have and um, so this is just a really cool way of using up lots of paper as well this is the easiest of all the Celtic knots to do yourself and um, but they had lots and lots of different kinds of shapes that they used to do, draw so it was really cool and they did them on chalices on pieces of furniture as well they carved them into wood it was really cool okay and um, i'm going to just cut this one out now so i drew around my second one and i'm cutting my second one out and i'm going to be as neat as i can i'm going to take my time with this and be as neat as i can because if it's not absolutely right then it's really hard to get the knot looking right on the page as well afterwards okay so i'm going to just be really careful cutting it out okay all right so i have two done so i have my green and my yellow ones done all right and that means i have two of those little hills that oshin was talking about as well i guess you could make them into kind of um hedgehogs maybe you know, if you did little sticks on them and drew a face or a ladybug or what else could you do? There's loads of things you could do with that shape, actually. I'm going to have to think about it some more and see if I can come up with more things. Or if you guys think of something, you could take pictures of what you make and then send them in to me. Angela? Yeah? Uh, you, you, you could get some brown card and you could draw a cross onto it. And and then you could get get a piece of paper and you could stick one of them on and stick the cross on top. Well, you could, couldn't you? That would be that's clever. You could do that, and that could be like an Easter scene. There you go. Yeah. Now I have two done, and you guessed it. We're going to do exactly the same thing with our third piece of paper. Okay, so now I have a different color yellow because I'm using up all the paper that I had left over from my parrots. I have a light color yellow as well. Um, so I might use that or I might use, let me think what other colours I have. I've got, mm, no, I like the yellow. I'm going to use yellow. Okay, so um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing just by placing the template on the card like this. And I'm going to draw around it and then I'm going to cut it out. So that we'll have three different, um, I suppose, rainbow shapes um cut out and ready to ready to stick on the card to make it look like our infinity knot okay so i'm going to yeah. keep going there now all right so i've just drawn in around that in school we mm -hmm. drew cress oh yum i like cress on sandwiches did you have did you eat any of it no it's not ready yet oh very cool it's lovely on sandwiches but it's but it's sprouting a good bit. Oh, that's great. And did you, was it in little butter tubs or yogurt tubs that you planted it? Or did you use proper plant pots? No, we kind of used small see-through glasses. Oh, okay. That's great. Like, like pots, just see-through and small. And, and you stuck googly eyes on. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we used a, a big butter tub when I was in school, I think. And that was a long time ago, like a Kerry Gold or a Dairy Gold butter tub. That's what we we used. But then I had to wait for ages for the butter to be used up by my mum before I could bring it into school to plant anything in. So it took ages. Now I've done my third one, so I end up with three of these lovely rainbow shapes. 
All right, so I did a darker color yellow, a lighter color yellow and a green one, but you guys can do any color you want. Depends on also what color um, paper you've got left over from our uh, parrots the other day. I can't speak today, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, but also, I mean, if you've used all of the paper, you can use some of the new paper that you have, or you can use white paper on the colored card, and it can be white, and it can be anything you like. Yeah? There's a little trick for making a paper harder by sticking it onto card and cutting around it. Yeah, you can do that, can't you? That's very clear. And that's why we use the, the card on the back when we're making these pictures, because the card lasts longer when you stick it up on a fridge or on a wall because the paper gets old and it starts going and falling off the wall. So it's easier and it stays nicer for longer if you stick it onto card. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, how are we getting on? Do we have all three of our little dome shape or our rainbows done? You've got two done, you're working on your third one. Brilliant. Yeah, and you've got your third one done. Fabulous, well done guys. Brilliant, all oh, those colours are brilliant. And you know what? We've got our red one that we are, I think most of them are red, actually, these templates that we have. You can put it aside and use it for something else. Or maybe you can use it as your third one if you're not going to do another one later. But I think it's a handy thing to have in case you want to do something like this for Patrick's Day next year or any other Irish festival. All right. So it's a nice thing to have. Maybe you have maybe cousins who don't live in Ireland or you've got friends who don't live in Ireland and they like something Irish. St. Patrick. Uh, he, he doesn't come from Ireland, Ireland at all. He comes from England. Yeah, he comes from Wales. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wales. And he went to, do you know where he studied? To no. become a priest? France. Oh. So he was all over the place. Yeah, and he didn't wear green. Did you know that, Oshin? He never wore green. He wore blue. There's a colour named after him called St. Patrick's Blue. <laughs> the girls knew that. Yeah, we talked about that on, on Patrick's Day, didn't we? Yeah. And it was only when I he went to on the only when the Americans decided to put him in green and celebrate being Irish that then he started wearing green. Look. Lovely. Really nice. And those three colours are lovely. You can think about what you can make with those now later. All right. Yeah. We will start sticking. Okay. So I'm gonna get my card and I'm gonna hold it um landscape. So it's this way. All right, so this one's portrait, the long ways portrait, and the sideways way. Is landscape think about lovely photographs of the sea and stuff okay that's landscape and what we're going to do is we're going to glue on our first one um i suppose not too far up the page almost in the center but not too far if you do it right in the middle you won't have space at the top for the top part of our knot so maybe about here on the page all right so lovely and you know that's my favorite color and um, so about maybe this much maybe half a finger from the bottom of the page, all right? And we're just gonna use loads and loads and loads of glue and glue that on, okay? And I suppose another trick as well is I'm going to stick it on, on the, put the glue on the side that has the black marker marks on it because I don't want them to be seen. So I put loads of glue on, there's so much glue on, it's sticking to itself and I'm gonna pop it on the page in well, the I center like that. Glue on my hands. Do you? But you can wash your hands. I love getting yeah. my hands dirty. I love it. I love playing but with mud and sand and paint. Sometimes my teacher doesn't let us wash our hands until we're finished it. Oh yeah. Well, I I think that's a good idea because then you only have to wash your hands once. Yeah. Unless it's really really super messy and you're going to get paint everywhere. Yeah. But um, I agree. I agree with her because you don't want to be wasting water either. So you don't. Yeah. Uh, I. I hate getting paint. Uh, I get uh, the reason why is that my fingers get stuck together and they get stuck to paper and everything. Oh my goodness! Well, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah. No. Right. Have we got our first one stuck on like a rainbow? No, I haven't got mine stuck on yet. I'm still gluing. All right, brilliant. Hurry up, so I'm gonna get the next two done because we have loads of drawing to do as well. Fabulous. Well done. Brilliant. Now, be thinking as well about what kind of animals or if you want to do flowers or animals on yours. I'll show you how to do the dragon 
um, just in case you want to do that. You want to do the dragon? Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I'll show you how to do the dragon and then you can add your own little bits to it afterwards. So yeah, I think maybe if we all do the dragon and then if you want to add some flowers or other Celtic knots on it as well, you can do that. Does that sound like I'd a good love idea? to do the dragon. Yeah, we'll do the, we'll do the Celtic dragon. Um, I like dragons too. Yeah, they're super cool. And, nice. they come, and, the, and the letter that starts with it start, is the letter that starts with my name. Oh, Devisa, that's very clever. I read a really, really good book recently with my son that you'd like, guys, if you like dragons. It's called A Darkness of Dragons. And it's a super cool story. It's an adventure Listen, story. Uh, there's a series of books and they're all the boy who... Uh, uh, so it's like the boy who flew with dragons. Yeah, the, the boy, boy who, who grew dragons. dragons. I know that one. Yeah, it's brilliant as well. I really liked that one. Have you read all of them? No, not yet. They're really good. I really like those books. We got them off Borrow Box. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the, the last one, an e the newest one now is only out since Christmas. So I think the ne next, the newest one is the boy who flew with dragons, I think. I listened to the boy who flew with dragons. Yeah, so there's the boy who grew dragons, the boy who lived with dragons. Yeah. The boy who the boy who dreamed. Oh, my son just told me it's the boy who dreamed with dragons. So there we go. He just came in to tell me because he heard me talking about his books. So I love dragons. I'm all about dragons. Anyway, right. Have I've we stuck on our first dragon. one? What? Um, I've, got, I've got a teddy dragon. Oh, cool. Yes, girl, is what were you saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, how far up do you stick this thing on the page? Um, I suppose it's kind of about half a finger up from the bottom, Afric. Okay. Yeah, about that far up. Um, and then we're going to stick our second one um, to the side like this. Okay, so when we're gluing this one on, we're going to glue it on here, touching the bottom one up to the middle like that. Okay, that's our second one. So I'm going to start putting glue on that there. And I'll show you what I mean again. I'm putting loads of glue on again. Remember the rule about glue? Loads and loads and loads of glue because we don't have to do everything twice. And I'm just going to make it touch one side of it of the one we've already stuck on. Okay, so... It's kind of touching it a little bit. I've got one of Draw Rob's activity books. Oh, do you? Yeah. I didn't know he had activity books. And he even written books. Oh, wow. That's cool. Now, so I've stuck my second one on here, okay? So what I did was I glued it on here at the corner and up to the middle like that. Okay, so I did the first one like a rainbow. And the second one I glued on here, all the way into the middle like that. Okay. And then the last one I'm going to stick on, on the other side of that. All right. So when I glue on my third one, I'm going to glue it on this way, the other side. So you do one one way to the edge here and the other one from the edge up this way. All right. So I'm going to just put glue on my last one there now. And again, I'm going to use the, put the glue on the side where I have the black marker from drawing the shape in the first place. And I'm going to just pop that on there now and see how much of a Celtic knot this looks like. It's going to be super cool. Angela. Yes. Can I see where you put the third one again? You can. I'm just gluing it on there. There we go. So you start at the bottom of the rainbow and you glue it on this way. And it's the same on the other side. You start at the bottom of the rainbow and glue it on that way. Okay. It's kind of not working for me. Yeah, it's okay. Move it around a little bit. Look, mine is, mine is joined at the top here. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm just going to like uh, colour that over that with my uh, dragon. So if it doesn't join perfectly at the top, you can make it part of your dragon head. Yeah, that one's okay. And when you do the other one, stick it on. Hang on, I'm just going to make you bigger there so I can see. Yeah, so you need to stick it to the bottom of the rainbow. Okay, so the other way around, flip the red one around. There we go. Yeah, that way. Okay, but you need to join it to the bottom of the rainbow. So if you glue it on the bottom first, 
it makes this shape here okay and then you glue it on the bottom on the other side and you can do that try it without glue first and see move them around to see if you can get the right shape and then glue them on okay and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect so don't worry about that because what we'll do is we can um just cover up little sections that we might have made a little bit mistakes on with um our animals that we're going to do in a sec all right because you imagine you're working on something for a whole year one page can you imagine how bad it would be if they made a mistake so they had to figure out a way of covering up the mistakes that they made otherwise they'd have to start all over again and it would be a whole year so be patient with and yourselves well done well done and they use ink to write over it perfect that's brilliant to be so well done good girl yeah and we can use we can if you want to we can yeah that little bit at the top there as well Oshin. we can make that the neck of our dragon all right there we go we can make the little bits that stick out the neck of our dragon and stuff like that all right well done guys and that's fantastic that's okay um you can move it you can move it a little bit sideways or you can make that those little sections at the top you can do a double headed dragon if you want you can do two dragon heads if you like that would be cool wouldn't it yeah Africa, the visa what color card did you use to stick your uh your uh this onto it purple purple I used purple too. And I used pink. I used we used all the nice bright colours. They're fabulous. Okay, right. Will we get drawing so our dragon, will we? Okay. What we'll do is we'll start with the feet, okay? We're going to start with these claw feet. And these are super, super simple. All right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my card that I have my um, uh, Celtic knot on. And I'm going to draw a foot on each side, okay? And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to do three little sections. I suppose it kind of looks a little bit like a duck's foot, okay? So I've just done two lines straight out and up, down, up, down like that, okay? And how what it makes it look more like a claw is I'm going to do little details in the middle and I'm going to colour them in. And they could be any colour you like. You could just do black with black marker if you want or you could do the colours um of the uh, the knot if you want like the one i did earlier i used purple and black and the yellow in the background okay so what i'm going to do once you've that done you're going to do little lines i suppose they're kind of um mini rainbow shapes okay so i'm going to do a rainbow shape rainbow shape and a rainbow shape so i've done three of those and then i'm going to do the same shape again near the toenail okay so it makes it look like he's got knuckles on his or his toes and claws okay i just done straight lines that's okay no there you go that's a little trick there to make it look a bit more like they're bent over they're clawing into something okay and i'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side okay so one do So I've done my two lines out the side and then up, down, up, down. And it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. We're not, um, we're not ninth century monks. We have lives, we have other things to do. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so there's two lines out the side, up, down, up, down. And we're going to just do those lovely kind of rainbow shape curves on the toes and another one towards the toenail to make him look like he's really hanging on to something. All right. Well done. Well done, Devisa. That's brilliant. Yeah, clever and well done, Oshin. Well done. Brilliant. And as I'm going, I'm actually going to colour things in as I'm going. Um, and I think I'm going to use green because I like the green colour that I have. And you can colour in the whole toe, the whole foot one colour if you want. You can colour the toes in different colours. It's up to you what you do, okay? So I've used kind of green, the green colour from my green um, part of my knot. And I've done the main part of the foot, the dark green and the toenails, the green as well. But it's up to you. It's your design. So it's absolutely no rules about this at all. You can do whatever you like. OK, and it's good that we don't have to crush any bugs to make the ink. And um, so we're going to just colour that in as we go. Well done, guys. Now, 
they are the feet. Well done. Brilliant feet, so that's great. Yeah, well done. Perfect. Now, um, if you're gonna do a double-headed dragon, you might do the wings, you might do one wing, or you don't have to do any wings, or you might do the wings down a little bit lower, okay? I'm gonna do the wing here, in the bit that it joins, this little section here at the side. I'm gonna do a wing here, okay? And it's gonna be, it's a really simple shape that I'm gonna do, can you see? Okay, I made it look more complicated than it is, but it's actually really easy. So I'm gonna take my black marker, and I'm just going to draw a kind of a curl, I suppose, or a wave. So I'm gonna start here and move my way around my marker out to, to touch the bottom of it here, okay? So I'm gonna start in the middle here, Angela. do a bit of a loop, one second, Oshin, and up and around and touch the end of it there again. Yes, Oshin, what were you saying? Do you have to draw a, a wing before the You don't have to draw a wing if you don't want to. Okay, so that's the shape that I've done. So I've done a kind of a curl here, up and around. I suppose it looks like a an upside down six, number six. So I've done a curl and out to the side. You absolutely don't have to do wings if you don't want to, Oshin. Okay. And then what I did is I just did a little bit of a, a, a squiggle in the middle. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a squiggle in the middle. Okay. A little bit of a gap. But you don't have to do this at all. You can just do straight to the side if you want. All right. Or you could do wings sticking out, or you could do bat wings, anything you like. This is just my I've design. I've got a really cool way of drawing dragon wings. Oh, wings, cool. And it's really easy. Brilliant. So, you can absolutely do that one, so. so. So you draw, so you draw a straight, so you draw a straight line across, then down, then, the, then you kind of go in a little rainbow shape, then a straight line off, then another rainbow shape, then a straight line off, then another rainbow shape, linking back into the side. Yeah, into to the, the shoulder, shoulder kind of thing. We did those, I think, when we did bats um, at uh, Halloween, those kind of shapes. Now, I'm just going to make it a little bit fancy, okay? So what I've done with my one is I've just added more lines doing the same thing in the middle, some lines across and some lines down. I've just made it fancy by doing different direction lines, okay? But you, can, you don't have to do it at all like this. You can do anything you like. You can do squiggles. You can do um, other little knot shapes. It's absolutely up to you. All right. I'll show you there my pink one that I did. So I did up and around two more times on the inside. I did some, some lines across and I did some lines down. But that's just my design. That's how I did it. Okay. Is the head... Uh, is the head tricky to do? A little bit, but I'm going to show you a trick on how to do it. All right. And if you like, you could practice on the back because no one's going to see it and then do it again on the other side. All right. Um, now that I've that done, I'm going to colour this one in as well. And I'm going to have this one facing the other way to my first one. So when I hang them up, they'll be facing each other. So it'll be kind of cool. I'm very annoyed because... Because there's lots and lots of hair stuck to my fingers. I don't know how they get there. It's just from the glue. Oh yeah. Is it is it got all did it drop on a carpet maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Glue when you drop glue on a carpet it gets all hairy. So I'm just colouring mine in here and I've I've just used the same green on my one because that's the colour I want to do. Alright, I'm just doing every second um line I suppose so the first line I did nothing the second line I did a big bit of purple that kind of thing so I did you know yellow purple yellow purple but this one I'm doing green pink green pink on it okay so I'm doing green on these lovely stripes I'm leaving one pink I'm doing the next one green that kind of thing so that's how I'm getting on here with mine all right okay and I'm going to do it again and you can you don't have to just do one of these creatures. You could do lots of different ones. In the in the book of Kells, they have other little creatures sticking out from in here, like peeking out from around corners. They have lovely um Celtic knots in the corners of the pages. You can draw in the middle of your Celtic knot if you want. You could do some squiggles or some triskels, which are circles like this. What are the, the stories about in the book of Kells? 
Um, it's the Bible. It's the the story of um Holy God. So that's what it's about. But it's in Latin, and um, because that's the language they would have taught the Bible in back then, and there's Irish in it as well. So there you go. But they use lots of animals to represent things. Um, like they used to use the snake to represent evil because they thought snakes were evil. So um, that's, there's lots of snakes and lizards and evil creatures. And then there's lots of lovely creatures as well. Like um, there's loads of angels in there. There's loads of, let me think, what else is in there? I was looking at some stuff this morning. There's angels, there's loads of uh, sheep or lambs, baby sheep in there as well. So there's lots of wonderful creatures. You should look it up on Google, guys. Some of the images are really pretty. And you could maybe, if you looked it up on Google, you could add some little other things to the corners or other creatures hidden in here. Or you could just draw regular animals, whatever you want. Some cats, dogs, lions, tigers, dolphins. We can make it a modern day Book of Kells, a chatty two Kells. Okay. How are we doing with our wings? How are we getting on? Are we good? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, well done. That's really pretty. I love it. Really good with the knot and the, that's fantastic. Love it. Now, so I'm going to do my tail next. I'm going to do my tail underneath the wing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a knot in his tail and draw the same shape as my infinity knot like this. Okay, so I did this. I went up, down and around like this. And I just gave him a spiky tail like um, the dragons you read about in books. All right. Do you have to do uh, the knot? No, absolutely not. You don't. It's up to you what you do. So you don't have to do the knot at all. So it's just my design um, for a tail for my dragon. Okay. So it doesn't have to look like that at all. So when I drew it, I just did a line. I'll show you that I'm going to make myself bigger. I just did a line and I drew the infinity knot in the middle. So I started with my rainbow shape and I drew a rainbow shape sideways and the other one sideways. The exact same way as we stuck this on. And I'm going to colour that tail in and the infinity knot in. Maybe a different colour. Um, but that's going to be my dragon tail. And these are just little tricks um, that you can do when you're doing the Book of Kells. Um, kind of creatures that the monks drew all of those centuries ago okay and um, you don't have to do these shapes if you don't want to you can do other shapes and like I said they used to use a lot of spiral shapes as well so lots of circles that's did spinning and uh, lots of squares um, at the edges of books and stuff like that that they used as well which is really really cool and they used to do them along the edge of all the pages so even the pages that were mostly writing had some beautiful writing and they have beautiful um, knots at the side of the page. And a lot of them are really difficult to do. So you can imagine why it did take them a whole year to do it when they didn't have proper pens. And they couldn't just run out and buy the ink. All right. So I've done my tail, my fancy tail. I've done my claws. And well done, Oshin. And I've done my wing like this, okay? And I'm going to do the head last here. All right. Well done. Oh, I love it. And I like the stripes on the tail as well. Fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw mine on a white piece of paper because it's easier for you to see. And I'm going to do it big so you can copy it. All right. And then I'll do it on my um, pink card then. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do next to my um, square is I'm going to draw kind of a tear shape next to it. And this is going to be for his ear and his eye. OK, so I've done a tear shape like this. All right. And then another one, the same shape in the middle here as well. All right. And that's going to be the eye. The code and everything is in Laura in my chat in my WhatsApp messages. Hello, Kian. Hi, all. Hi, all. <laughs> giving you a wave. You can all see your hands. No, so I've done a tear shape, a teardrop shape, and another one, the same shape in the middle. Can you all see that? Yeah, and this is going to be the eye and part of the head and the ear. Okay. And then what I'm going to do from that is I'm going to draw kind of, I suppose, the same shape as you would if you were drawing like a dog's face. 
Okay, so Angela. Yes, Oshin. Uh, can you colour it in? You can, absolutely. Now, so this is the shape I'm doing for his face. Okay, so I've gone out, uh -huh. down, back in for his mouth, and again. So I've done kind of a squiggle shape like this. And you can kind of see it's forming into a face now. So this is going to be his ear up here, his eye, and his mouth, okay? And we don't need very much of his neck. And I see it again. Because yeah, I'll show you in a sec because it's going to join join onto your um your knot up here. So you don't need a whole lot of his head, you only need a small bit. And then you can give him a long tongue, some teeth as well, and colour in I his eye. Okay. I think I'll do a, a fan sticking out of his mouth. Fantastic. Okay, so what we did was we did this the circle. We kind of went around, back in, out, back in for his neck. We did some teeth and I gave him a tongue here. You can give him an, a knot on his tongue if you want. And I coloured in a little eyeball here in the bottom teardrop. All right. Now I'm going to give him another ear behind. So I'm just going to do a kind of a triangle shape at the back like that. And this is the section that's going to be onto your infinity knot okay so you won't see more than this head and in that you can give him stripes or spots or spirals or anything you want in his face and color it in and that's really simply done okay so i'll just talk you through it again so what we did is we did a teardrop shape and a smaller teardrop shape in the middle and a little eyeball okay then for his nose we came out back in out back in and down for his neck, gave him some teeth and a tongue and another ear and he's ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw that same shape onto my card. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm drawing my teardrop shape for his head. OK, so I've done my teardrop shape up here. OK, and I'm going to do the smaller teardrop shape in the middle and give him Angela. an eye. Yes, Oshin. Do you know what colour dragon's blood is? Oh, I don't. What colour is it? Green. Ooh, gross. Okay, so what I did was I did my teardrop shape, a smaller teardrop shape, give him an eye, went out, back in, out, back in and down to join onto my knot. And I'm going to give him another ear behind. Okay. And join that on. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've just do joined it on there. A do you draw a line at behind the ear eye? Yes, you do. Yeah. There you go. You can join it on here because that's going to be the, his back. All right. Or you can do another spike here if you want. And then you can do lots of different spirals in the middle if you want. Um, I'm going to do some green, I think, on mine. I'm going to color in his, his um, the first teardrop shape green. Um, I'm going to do the back one green as well. Um, I'm going to do, maybe I might give him a nose as well. Um, just give him a nose so he can breathe. So I just gave him a little circle here for his nose and a little dot as a nostril, okay? Little circle and a little dot. But this is just my design of my way of doing it, okay? You guys can do whatever shape you want. You can do loads of spirals. You can do lots of spikes. You can do anything you like on him, really, all right? Because he's your design and we don't live in Celtic times anymore. We draw differently and we've got different things to inspire us um, than they had back in Celtic times. So we don't have to do exactly the same things as they did anymore, okay? So I just did lots of squiggles in mine and I'm going to colour in sections of it green and I'm going to leave some sections of it pink. I'm going to leave his tongue pink because most tongues are pink, okay? And that's just my design for my dragon, okay? And it's inspired by the Book of Kells and the Celts and the Festival of Beoltana, which is actually a pagan festival. So it came before the monks drawing the Book of Kells. And when the monks came along, they thought the art was so pretty that they started drawing these spirals and things in their own artwork. So they were inspired by the Celts and we were inspired by the monks. So isn't that cool? We're all inspiring each other. 
All right. And as I said, guys, this is my finished one today, but you can do other animals in here. You can draw flowers. They really loved flowers in the month of May from the Bealdon Festival. You can do little edges here on the edges of the page. Um, it's just something really nice um, to have um, in your house or your window for this time of the year. And it's supposed to be good luck if you pick wildflowers and put them in your window for the month of May. OK, so I just show you here. This is I've done a little another knot at, at the corner. Way. Well done. That's brilliant, Oshin. Fantastic. So I've done these little knots again in the corner. These infinity knots. I just drew my rainbow and my two my two loops again, my two um, uh, rainbow shapes again. All right. So these are things you can do. You can keep decorating the page and work away on it. Um, for another for another while or you can finish up now it's up to yourselves all right there we go um so what you can use today guys is there's one spare sheet of white paper in the box because we didn't use any today and we can also use the rest of those sheets of paper that you had started using today that we had um cut our little parrot um, feathers out of a few weeks ago so you can use the rest of those now today and you probably would have enough if you wanted to make one on white paper for somebody and give us it a gift or do another one that matches and see what other creatures you can see have a look on google on the internet and look up the book of kells and look up the animals and sometimes on some of the sites they will have free coloring pages as well so you can have a good idea of what to do all right yeah you know the way with all the Beltana festival? Mm -hmm. the, uh, were the monks Christian or what, what religion were they? Yeah, so the monks were Christian. Um, but the Beltana festival is a pagan festival. So that was here before the monks got here. So, so we do celebrated it. Why, do you think that that's why everyone has their communion in May? Probably. To honor the yeah. Book of Kells and stuff. Like the way that was like a holy time because they had like a certain holy festival on that's right that's exactly why so in uh, in december we celebrate christmas because there was a pagan festival um it was called the winter solstice so it was when the days got longer and so what they did was the winter solstice was on the 21st of december so when the christians came to ireland or it took over and um, they said sure we're celebrating a festival at this time of the year anyway we'll just change the name and the date yeah our communion is going to be now on July, my communion in my class. Well, that's so good. Second. Well, that's good because at least you don't have to do it in a car. Because last year there was lots of people and they were just in their communion dresses and cars and the priest would come to the, the window. So at least in July, you'll have a better chance of actually being able to celebrate it properly, won't you? Yeah. So yeah, it's a good yeah. question, actually. That's a good question, Afrik. You should look that up. So Bealtaine is a pagan festival and it was replaced by the month of May, which is Mary's month. Um, and we have a we have another one we do what we, we celebrate in June. So there's a summer solstice in on the 21st of June, and we celebrate other things then as well. So I think it's um bonfire night that we have now uh, there as well so there's lots of things that we took from pagans that we still do today and it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old which is cool okay guys enjoy yourselves making those and finishing those off i will talk to you next week all right bye guys see ya bye.